What's going on everybody, I'm Primal Liquid and welcome back to my Final Fantasy VIII Ragnarok mod playthrough. Guys, we are now on part number 28. Oh, and there's still, oh dude, there is still so, so much left for us to do. Like seriously, way, way, way too much. It's like, we still got to... Oh, we still got to do the uh, the vase quest in Windhill, which yeah, I've kind of I've kind of decided I'm gonna do simply due to the fact that I just I just want to see the new reward. You know, I I just want to see the new reward. That's all I want to do. See if we can get anything uh, anything good for that. Uh, I just need to remember how to get all the uh, all the vase PCs, which shouldn't really take us that long. Um, after after that, we obviously do have to go ahead and. Um, do Balam, but again, that's probably going to be a little bit later just because you know that that's a, a normal story objective um, We are going to be doing the uh, the Shumi village stone quest which shouldn't take us That long really like I don't I don't think it will anyway. I mean that's gonna be that one's gonna be more a maybe, you know, maybe. Obviously, like the first part of the quest is pretty is pretty quick, but when we have to go back later, yeah, that one that one's pretty slow if I remember rightly. But it's it's fine. It does mean, however, we will not have uh, have ward later because of you know picking up the uh, the timber maniacs in Shumi Village. But you know, it's not it's not too big of a uh, of a deal. So that will be one thing we have to think about as well. Right, there's one of the other vase PCs. I'm just trying to think where else do I need to uh, do I need to go? Uh, I think the only one left now is the cat, right? I'm almost positive the only one left for me to do is the cat because I don't think I've I don't think I've actually done that. In fact, do I even have the vase pieces in my inventory? Can I just check? Like, the vase quest is something that I, like, never do. I, I never do the vase quest. Hmm, sort. Uh, no, I don't think, I don't think they're gonna appear in my inventory. No, it doesn't, it doesn't look like they're going to appear in my inventory, unfortunately. Well, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just check the cart anyway, because I think that's, I think that's the one that I'm going to be uh, missing right now. And then it's just a case of, well, where do I, where do I go next? Oh, there's the cat. There's Rain. Come on, Rain, turn into, turn into the kitty cat. Oh, man. All right, give me the vase piece. By the way, Squall, that was your mother. Come on. All right, there we go. There's the vase piece. So that should be the, uh, the last one that I need. So we can just go ahead and take that to the guy in the mansion now. And then we are completely done in, in Windhill. So this will be the only thing I need now. Alright, so in the OG, the reward for this is normally normally a holy stone. Oops, wrong guy. Uh, but yeah, normally it's a, a holy stone. I don't know what it's going to be now, though. Because a holy stone is kind of meh, to be honest. So all we need is one more vase piece. Shit, I'm still missing one. Um, uh... Is it the statue? Yeah, it's the armor one. Never mind, I'm not, that's easy. I'm looking for my feet. Have you seen my feet? Yeah, dude, it's like right over there. Oh. God damn it. Maybe it's really haunted after all. It's really haunted after all, man. And now they're just freaked out. Oh. Goddamn Chocobo, man. Goddamn Chocobo. They always like to play pranks, man. They're like Moogles. They're like goddamn Moogles. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh, bless me. Jesus Christ. Oh, don't you just hate it when you get an unexpected sneeze like that? Use a little fine cure. Right, is it still a holy stone? No, a moonstone. Okay. Yeah, that, that quest is definitely worth it now. A Moonstone is infinitely better than a Holy Stone. We're going to need that for some uh, some final tier weapons. So we're definitely we're definitely going to have to save that. For sure. Like, that one's... That one's important. Absolutely important. Right. Um, let's go do Shumi Village. Oh, and I've still got to finish off all of the... Um, 
the Chocobo Far Easts, don't I? Although I can finish, I can finish Chocobo Far Easts another time, I think. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do the Chocobo Far East another time. I don't think there's, you know, much, much rush to do it than now anyway. So we're not gonna, well, we're probably not gonna gain too much from it other than like, oh wait, no, I need, I need the Chicobo card for the Queen of Cards, don't I? Shit. Okay, I might, I might have to do that. I might actually have to do that. It shouldn't be too bad though, like we've already, We've already done, I want to say, like, half the Far East. I think we've done, like, three or four of them. So there's not, there's not exactly, you know, too many Far Easts left for us to, uh, left for us to do. Um, trying to think what else we need to do. I still need to try and get Odin and Tom Berry, but that was hella difficult. Mm, it was hella difficult indeed, that was. Um, a lot of other side stuff is there. My mind is my mind is drawing a blank right now. Like I can't I can't actively think of any more side quests for us right now. I think that's I think that's mostly going to be everything. Like Shumi Village, the Chocobo Far Easts, and. Like Tom Berry and Odin, I think I think those are the only side quests that I really have to do right now. I still need to figure out why I can't do the um, the CC group, but we'll sort. Well, we can we can do that pretty much like later anyway. Like we can we can do that after Balam. That's not a problem at all. So I'm not in I'm not in any real rush for that. You know what I mean? Maybe maybe I just need to play more games. Ooh. Ooh, it refills. Dude, we could we could get a hundred meat. Well, then again, I probably I probably can't get a hundred meteors actually. Because of how expensive it is. It was meteor Oh no, it was Quake. It was Quake. Shit, that was pointless. Dude, I thought it was Meteor. No, Meteor was in Fisherman's Horizon, wasn't it? Yeah, Meteor was Fisherman's Horizon. Well, that was ten thousand gil wasted. God damn it, man. God damn it. Oh, Yeah, welcome to Shumi Village. It's not a very nice village, man. I don't really care that much about Shumi Village. I never even I never even really go here on a normal playthrough. Like the only the only time I'll ever really come here is just to abuse the uh, the ultimate draw points. Literally the only time I will ever really do anything here. Uh, right now I've got to try and remember everything. I can't remember which houses I need. I know this is the end. This music. Mmm. Familiar, isn't it? Very familiar. Alright, so I'll spend the night. No, I'll come back later. We'll do that later. And he just slowly sinks. Oh, man. You gotta, you gotta love the little music there. Can you guys guess what it is? I'm sure you can, right? Oh man, right. Let's go. Uh, let's go speak to the elder. Wait, no, I can't speak to the elder just yet, can I? I need to go further along. Although I'm gonna see what the draw point is. Oh, I can't even get to the draw point because the Moomba's in the way. God damn it, man! I want to see what's in the draw point. Uh, I think there's another one, right? Like there should be another one in the water. No, I can't get to it. Never mind. Never mind. Right, which is the uh, thingy? Um. I think it's this house I need to go into first. See with this one or the other one. Yeah, because there's Laguna statue. Come on guys, let me let me through. It's your daddy, Squall. Yeah, we we sorta know. We we sorta know him. Uh A Moomba found this man lying near our village, covered with blood. I wonder at what point that was. Mm, Slips him falling off a cliff. Oh, it was before, before Wayne Hill, then. I saw that. I thought, I thought Rain was the one who nursed him back to health after that. Go speak to him, Sculptor. Sure, yeah, okay, sure. Why, why not? Why not? I'll go do the goddamn quest. Only because I want to see what the new reward is, though. Hopefully it'll be worth it. 
I mean, the Moonstone for the vase piece was was definitely worth it. I'm really, I'm really glad I actually went back, like I went and finished that quest rather than rather than leaving it. Like getting getting a Moonstone from there is extraordinarily important. I mean, oh, what should what weapon should we use? Yeah, it's all the all the gems that we're gonna have to get. Oh, so many, man. So goddamn many. Now, yeah, what's the draw point, though? I want to know what's in the draw point. Uh, fire rigor. Okay, well, we don't we don't need that. We already have a bunch of fire riggers. Good old chocobo world. Yeah, right, let's go speak to the uh, the elders, shall we? Although I am gonna pick up the timber maniacs first. It does mean we won't have ward later for the uh, the ruby dragon fight, but it's fine. There's there's no harm in that. Well, maybe, maybe there will be hard. Maybe I should have left that. Ooh, ooh, okay. Cresta card inside it, sure. Uh, did I already have a Cresta card? I think I might have had one, right? Uh, no, I didn't. Okay. What does that card mod into? Normally, normally in the OG, Cresta turns into Holy Stone. Uh, it's now North Wind. I cannot remember what North Wind is, so I'm not going to mod it just yet. It's like I'm probably going to mod a bunch of cards later, just not right now. I don't know why, but every now and again it almost looks like there's a draw point down near the frog. Maybe maybe I'm just going crazy. I don't know. I'm, I'm probably going crazy, to be fair. Right, what's in this draw point? Blizzard. Okay, we, we don't need. So we could get all the gar spells here in Shumi Village then, basically. Yeah. Well, we have them, so it's fine. We don't, we don't need them. Alright, let's go. Come on, Mr. Aldo, what have you what have you got for me? Although we're probably gonna be stuck here for ten years talking to him. And you come here, you must know Master Laguna. Yeah, he he's my daughter. Seventeen years ago. Kind of amazing, no one really uh, works out the time, you know what I mean? And then he becomes best friends with Moombas and Esther. It's probably why all the Moombas in the prison like him. It's like I never actually I never actually thought about it like that. Like I always thought the Moombas in the prison like him because of like what happened to Esther where he saved the Moomba and that. that that's why I always thought they liked him, but no, I never I've never put two and two together before that it was actually because of Shumi Village. Oh man, not not that smart. Not my smartest moment, is it? Definitely, definitely not my smartest moment, for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna help the sculptor. Don't worry, dude. Should we wait one more? Yeah, I'll do. I'll do the work. Okay, that's fine. At least I only need to find five stones for the sculptor. Shouldn't be. Shouldn't be that difficult, really. Shouldn't be anyway, unless unless the mod has changed parts of the quest or maybe the uh, the locations for the gems. But I'm hoping I'm hoping they haven't. Like I'm I'm hoping they haven't anyway. Because I would kind of I would kind of like to get the uh, the Shumi Village quest done pretty pretty quickly, you know, just so we can go to um, uh, Balam. Because I do wanna I wanna get Pandemona. And then I think I'm going to try to uh, Odin again. It's like I'll do I'll do Pandemona. I'll learn all the abilities um, on that and Leviathan. And then we will try Odin again. Like I'm hoping I'm hoping by then we should be we should be good. We we should be okay there. Alright, let's get the blue stone. It should be somewhere over here. Somewhere. There we go. Yeah, that, that's the blue stone, buddy. Right in front of the goddamn guy's eyes. Mm-hmm. Alright, let's go get the other four. Alright, next is the wind stone. Hang on, do I, have to, do I have to get them all individually and bring them back? Or can I just do it in, like, one big go? Um... Hmm... 
Well, I'm gonna have to go past one of the stones anyway, because one of the stones is in front of the uh, the elder's house. So if I try and get that, then we'll see. Come on, is it gonna give it me? No, it's not gonna give it me. Okay, so I am gonna have to do them one at a time then it seems. Well, shit. Yeah, it's not the end of the world, I suppose. Uh, there's the windstone. So take this back. Then it's then it's the one at the Alder's house. Um, then it's I think it's the one near the draw point. <coughs> uh, yeah, I'm almost I'm almost positive it's Alder House then draw point. Uh, and then, crap, where's, where's the last one? Where's the last one? Um, I think it's the artist's house, right? I know it's, it's one of the houses. It's one of the houses. I know that. So we'll just have to, we'll just have to see. I'm pretty sure it's the artist's house, though, that's just, like, over there to the side. Right, the life zone should be somewhere around here. Yep, there we go, we got it. No, nope, we didn't get it. No, nope, now we have it, now we have it. But I do, I have to admit, I am curious what the uh, what the reward is going to be. The reward here is normally a, uh, a Phoenix Pinion. Obviously, you know, we already have one of them from Windhill. We have the one from... Crap, why did I go the right way, that way? Uh, we have the ones from Chocobo... Uh, world, we have this one now. Well, hopefully we won't have this one, but you know what I mean. So hopefully we'll get uh, we'll get something a little bit better. I don't really know what I want though. Like I don't I don't know what sort of reward I want. Maybe maybe auto haste. Yeah, maybe maybe auto haste or or auto shall. Like auto shall could be really nice as well, especially because like there's gonna be there's gonna be a lot of things that are using magic coming up. So that could be that could be nice too. Hmm. I don't know, man. Like, there's so many there's so many different reward possibilities. In fact, let me try and get this one while I'm here. But yeah, there's so many possibilities of of rewards that I would like that I don't know. Like, I just don't know what to go for. You know what I mean? And then we still got to come back here later as well. So maybe maybe this reward won't be. You know, super amazing, but maybe, maybe it'll be better later. Hmm. Just one of those things we're gonna have to find out. Like this is this is the problem with a mod. We can't just we can't just jump to guessing. You know, like sure the guessing the guessing is a fun part of mods. You know, we can we can try and guess what we're gonna get, but honestly speaking and realistically, <coughs> oh excuse me. But yeah, real realistically, we're probably we're probably not gonna figure out what the reward is is actually going to be. You know, it's always it's always gonna be that one thing that is gonna be it's gonna be a complete fluke if we actually get right. Like it's it's totally just gonna be a fluke for sure. It's like for all I know, it could be cards, it could be gill. I mean, I'm hoping it's not gill. I'm really really hoping it's not gill. <laughs> Oh man. Alright, should be here somewhere, right? Yeah, there we go. More stones. I know, dude. So many stones. Alright, there's the Shadow Stone. So we'll take that back now and then we just have to do the uh, the last one, which is in Austin's house. And then we can uh, we can go to Balam after that. Yeah, we can we can go to Balam. And then we're gonna have to get Pandemona. I mean, I don't think. <clears throat> oh man, I feel like I got something stuck in my throat. But no, I don't. I don't think there's any more optional stuff for, that we have to rush and do right now. So I might might just go to Balam after Shumi Village because I don't. I don't think I'm going to be strong enough to beat Odin just yet. Unfortunately, like Odin was dealing a lot of damage to me. One of the things I could do though is I could, I could wait until I get Cerberus maybe. 
Because mm. Cerberus would allow me to get triple. I hope. Unless unless Cerberus has been changed, like, like Carbuncle has. Then Cerberus would allow us to get double and triple. Which would make buffing just infinitely easier. Because then I could just, like, triple haze, triple shuttle, triple protect, boom. All my defense up in, like, one turn each character. You know what I mean? Instead of, instead of having to mess around for ages, triple is going to be a freaking godsend, to say the least. So I kind of, I kind of hope that Cerberus has not been changed, at least, at least until, you know, I have, I have the auto abilities. Not gonna get that for a while though, unfortunately. So that's that's gonna be, that's gonna be a while away. Hmm. Bit of a shame, but well, what what can you do? Then again, though, I don't I don't know. Maybe maybe Pandemona will have will have Horto Ace. It's probably it's probably only going to be for like one character. Sure, like I'll only be able to use it on one character, obviously. But either way, like one person having an Auto Haste, he could be he could be my designated buffer, or she, I suppose. Like we could we could get, you know, some def we could definitely get a lot of a lot of help having Auto Haste. And then maybe once I level, like, once I level Carbuncle up, maybe I can get, like, Auto Shell. I don't know. Because my Carbuncle is low level. Same with, same with Brothers. That's low level as well. Oh, Brothers is actually full on thingy. I need to, I need to clear some space on Brothers. Uh, what can I get rid of? Let's get rid of some magic. 10 and 20. I don't need two defenses. I'll keep all of them, though. I uh, don't really need magic GF draw or item or anything like that either, because it's on it's on all the others. Diablo has space, carbon class space, Leviathan will not have space though, so let's get rid of like magic GF draw and item from that. So that should that should give us a bunch of space now when when we finally learn everything on Leviathan. Uh, what should I actually learn first on that? Um, Yeah, I suppose. I suppose I might as well just stick with recovery medicine. Yeah, that'll be that'll be fine. But obviously, all the like ability requirements are changed now, so we can we can get some uh, extra abilities at higher GF levels. So I'm curious, you know, what what else we can actually get? I just hope there's going to be an encounter on. I do I do want to get encounter on. All right, what's the reward? Hmm. I don't see anything. There's nothing here. Exactly. He's not gonna give us anything. God damn it, man. God damn it. He tricked us, dude. He tricked us. The honor of seeing his hand. <sighs> can I? Can I just stab them now? Can I stab them and shoot them now? Yeah, let, let's just stop them. Feel free to stop by any time. <sighs> we forgot to give you a souvenir. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah, what is it? What is it? Please don't be another opinion. Fuck. Okay, so that, that reward hasn't changed then. God damn, man. That was, that was a waste of time. Uh, explain what it all meant. Yeah, that was that was totally a waste of time. That was. Maybe I should use the pinion. Actually, do I even have the item command? I don't know if I do. Um, does anyone actually have that on? I'll have to check after this cutscene. Should have just said here. There's nothing. Yeah, you should have just been honest and upfront, dude. I have to admit, though, I I would like uh, an ultimate draw point, please. Like that, that would be nice. You know, instead of instead of quake. Uh, so this is sculpture in the shop. You will not sleep. <coughs> uh. Well. Go have fun working on a sculpture, buddy. Alright, let's go to let's go to Balam. 
It's like, unfortunately, that, that trip to Shumi was absolutely not worth it in the slightest. That was honestly terrible. I mean, I know we're going to have to come back here later and play uh, play cards. But, eh. That, that really... That really wasn't worth it at all, unfortunately. Um, what else can I do? Uh, oh, I could do... I could do the UFO side quest, actually. Oh, but I can't remember where the beaches are. And I don't feel like messing around for ten years trying to find them. Hmm. I mean, I can do the beaches after Balam anyway, so I can... I can look that up to save a bit of time. That, that's not a problem. Which yeah, we'll do we'll do the UFO side quest after Balam. We can't we can't completely do it, but we can we can do most of it. So like we can do well I think we can do like half of it at first. So that's that's what we'll do. Right, for now though, let's uh let's just go to Balam because I really don't think there's anything else left for us. In fact, I'm gonna go to a, a junk shop. Yeah, I want to I wanna go to a junk shop first and just see if I can create anyone's ultimate weapon now that I have a, uh, a moonstone. If I can, if I can, that is actually going to be really, really freaking good. But I don't, I don't know if I can. That's the only problem we're going to have. Because I, uh, I can't actually remember what items we have, unfortunately. Actually, what is this? Is this Mandy Beach? I don't know if this is Mandy Beach. It might be. Is it? I'm gonna jump out. Nope. Longhorn Island. Okay, so that's that's not the beach. I was gonna say if that was if that was Mandy Beach, uh, we could have. Uh, actually, there's Fingy, so I should be able to get up here. Yeah, I can. But yeah, if that was uh, Mandy Beach, we could have started the UFO side quest. I'm not gonna go into Dailing though for the junk shop because I hate trying to navigate that place. So we're just gonna go around to uh, either either Timber or Dalit, whichever one I run. In fact, I think Timber is just over this bridge actually, so we can go into there. Plus, luckily enough, the uh, the junk shop in Timber is actually pretty close to the door, well, the town entrance, and pretty soon as well, we are going. Well, hopefully, hopefully, pretty soon. We will get Tomberry with the upgrade shop ability. I'd be really curious to see what all the uh, all the shops offer once once upgraded. Who knows? We might be able to get something really really good. We'd have to see on that one though. Right. So can't make anything new there. Nothing new there. Uh, nothing new there. I mean, I've already got save the queen. Shooting star. Well, I've already got that as well, never mind. Uh, Crescent Wish, no. So, the Moonstone, I still can't get anything with. Yeah, I'm probably still either missing some of them, like maybe maybe I need more than one, or I'm missing some of the other items. But it's still, it was still worth checking, you know what I mean? Dude, are you gonna like let me into garden? Hello? Why is it not letting me in? There we go. I have no idea why that wouldn't actually let me in there. Wait, what's that over there? Oh, it's just a, like, bad render. Alright, I need to make sure I'm on the correct side of the bridge. You know, this is kind of one of the annoying things about FF8. There's a goddamn bridge that goes all the way along the ocean in the middle and traps you on one side or the other. It makes, it makes getting across so awkward and annoying, in my opinion. Uh, wait, which beach was at Balam, actually? Was that, was that Mandy Beach? I can't remember if it was. Uh, let me just get out. I don't think it was Mandy Beach. Oh, random battle. Dude, it's only going to be Fasty Colwins as well. Well, I might as well murder them. It's, like, it's a little bit of AP. And honestly, they should realistically die in like one hit. It's like they're still, they're still Balam level. So they should definitely die in one hit. Yeah, see that one died to a single Angelo. Like, God help them if Squall lands a hit. Yeah, 1,400. Not not amazing, but not terrible either. I mean, to be fair, I suppose I could actually just grind AP here, really, if I really, really wanted to. But I suppose there's no real point, because I can just go and do the uh, the cactus as well. 
Right, uh, I do have death on, what abilities? I kind of want strength extra now for Squall. You know, get, get some extra uh, strength on him. Dude, let me in garden, what is going on? There we go, and there's, there's Galbadia. I don't think we can get anything on those islands for now, actually, so I'm not going to bother. Right, so let's just go into, uh, let's go into Balam, shall we? So we're going to do Balam, get Pandemona. And then after we do Balam, I'm not going to go straight for, uh, for Galbadia. Because I do, I want to see what Pandemona has first. If we have anything like Auto Haste, I'm going to learn that. Or if we have any good abilities, I'm going to learn them. And then I'm going to try... Tonberry again. Yeah, that that sounds like a plan. I do need to put item on somebody though. Uh, Shiva and Siren. Okay, Squall can lose GF, and I'll put item on. So Squall, Squall can use a Phoenix Pinion for me. Let me just sort them. Battle. Uh, where is Pinion? Where's my Pinion, dude? Um. There it is. Okay, so we'll use that there. I need to use a Gossel Green and a Friendship. So that gives me Phoenix, Chocobo, and Moomba Summons. In fact, let me get into a battle now and I'll use them now, actually, rather than doing it inside Balam. So we're going to have to do three fights, unfortunately, so I'll turn high speed on. Uh, where are we? Uh, do, 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 do. Right, we'll do Phoenix first. So now, whenever whenever my whole party dies, there is a chance I could be revived by Phoenix, which would definitely come in handy against Odin, as we've as we've seen, Odin is quite nasty. Dude, what the shit at that damage? Did you guys did you guys see that damage? I mean, I, I know that was a low-level mob with really bad defense, but dude, that was that was 15,000 damage. Okay, that that's a little that's a little broken. That that's a little broken, dude. I should have used that on Odin. Holy shit! What about the others? Uh, Gossel Green. Let let's try that for Chocobo. Boko is not. Ah, oh, I put Boko in the world, didn't I? Uh, right, I need to bring a Boko out then. Right, friendship. We can at least get the Moomba. And then I just need to remove Boko from the world. Well, from Chocobo World. And then we can use the green. So let's, yeah, let's let's do that. It's so like, it does mean I'm going to get one more set of Chocobo World items. But as we know, they, they don't really have anything good, to be fair. Uh, Chocobo World, bring him home. Oh, I guess I already did it. Oh, well. Right, well, he's home now. So now I can use the green. Let's let's see what we hear. Let's see how strong our little chocobo is, shall we? See if it's any good. So like we know we know Phoenix does 15,000 damage. Let's see what chocobo does. Is it going to be more or less than Phoenix? I I don't know. Yo yeah, man, what are you what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Eight thousand. Okay, I mean it's not it's not great, but it's not terrible either. It's just a shame we can't get Mog's amulet from Chocobo Worlds, so we can't get Mog either. Oh well, just just one of them really. I mean we can we can go without Mog. Like Mog if I remember right, I think Mog is just like a GF heal anyway. I think it's just an in-battle ability to heal your GF, so it's not that important to get Mog. Well, then again, maybe maybe it will be later when my GFs are taking a lot more damage. I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to see. All right, let's go ahead and save, and then we can go into Balam. But though, everybody, I'm afraid to say Balam is going to be in the next one, because I'm going to be ending this video right here. So, though, I do hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, then please be sure to smash that like button, and, of course, drop a comment down below as well. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more content. As always, though, everybody, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.